There we go. So, now that we got a tiny bit of free roaming, let me just say, this game is awfully gorgeous, and it's just... Uh. So yeah, with Square, we bust open pots, and sometimes there's some nice stuff in there, like some yen. And just like in real life, yen is not worth much, so we gotta collect lots of it, obviously. Right, what's next? Yes, jumping. Obviously, that's... The chest looks mighty tempting, getting up there, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I gotta address the elephant in the room. Yeah, that's wall jumping. You can do that. So, the elephant in the room is... This game is... It's got a very slow start. That's just something you gotta deal with, and I wish it weren't the case, because... Well, that's just... That's... Like, one of the very few flaws this game has, and once you get past the slow beginning, you, 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 you're in for a wild ride. Looks like the bridge is out. It shouldn't be so hard. Uh, Amaterasu, was it? That's kinda long. What if I call you Ami? Listen, Ami, ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least, that's what they say. Well, just watch. It'd take all day to explain. Pictures worth a thousand words, right? Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13! Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When a deity died, its power split onto 13 separate gods. The gods not dwell within objects all around us, but... God or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? No idea. But we'll probably figure it out someday. Moving on... Well, we can't really go here, so... Yeah. Let's go over here, I guess. River of the Heavens. They mean the favorite Stardust River? I'm sure, there's anything like that around here. Could be a little puddle. Or maybe it could. Who knows? We'll figure it out someday, I think. For now, let's go up here because I'm sure there's gonna be a good view of stuff. Stuff is always good. Wow, look at the stars twinkle! I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look! Are those stars forming a pattern, or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. So you can scribble, but can you draw a dot? <laughs> no, you can't. Bah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press R1 to hold the brush, then to draw. Ah, why if it isn't Mother Amaterasu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Wow, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation! Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? It would mean you would discuss it with the brushes your tr yours truly! Nah, it couldn't be true. Where else could master this incredible god technique? We'll see about that. Oh yeah, trophies, that's the thing. Nice, so I guess we'll see how many trophies I get <laughs> during my playthrough of this. Jump over to the uh, Tory Gate, because yes! 
There's no ego dwarf, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that, eh, soon? <laughs> so. Time to explain the main gimmick of this game. With R1, we, a we activate the drawing field. We can move the brush, and with... Uh, squared is the name. We can scribble around like an idiot. With X we can speed up our brush stroke, and that's it. We have a limited amount of ink for each session of drawing, and... It doesn't lag like in the Wii version back in the day. <laughs> hey! A river starter, so this really must be the river that happens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew this darn thing? It's a me! So... Um... I guess at this moment I should mention the Wii version, which... I still believe is the definitive way to play this game, because you can use the Wii remote pointer to scribble around way easier. But that's just... well... Can't really do that here now. Astral Pouch. Okay, I found an Astral Pouch. Squad up loves the food and it's full, you can revive its owner. So, this is pretty much a one up or something. So, once you eat enough food that it's full, you get an extra life pretty much. So, let's find some food and an apple. Nice. And a peach. Nice. Well, we gotta just eat lots of food and orange. And there we go. And because shiny is good, we go into the shiny. Also, I'm so glad the loading times are not as long as in the PS2 version. But in the PS2 version, you could play a little mini game in the loading screen that ga let you gain some extra fluff and guff. But we'll get into what the fluff and guff was a bit later. So for now, we just walk up this of stairs and I love the art direction of this game it's so beautiful and ah it's amazing over here a little hidden chest with a stray bead there's 100 of these in the game and the more you collect the more rewards you get once you beat the game I will try to get as many as I can but I'm not gonna promise a 100% playthrough here because well there's some pretty brutal stuff later on, and yada yada. But I'll try to show off as many locations as I know, which probably won't be that many since it's been forever since I played the game through and through, but whatever. So this might also be kind of a blind play for, in a sense, because I don't remember that much. Dumplings! Nice. So, moving up, I, I love the inclusion of Tori Gates all the time. It's so beautiful, and it, it reminds me of Toho. And that's never a bad thing. Is this... Is this a legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero, hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil a hundred years ago with the help of the white wolf, Shira Nui. First the river of the heavens and now this place. Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword's in really bad shape. The god sure didn't do much to protect this place. Well... I can draw lines too, scribbly lines, but lines nonetheless. Here you go. That really was your brushwork all this time. How do you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like, Well, if it isn't Madame Matarasu, it's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. Hey, that was the god Tachigami, master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute, if you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that Shiranui. 
you know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi? When Shiranui died, the wolf's power was split into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy! Shiranui and Nagi? It's just like the legend! Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on the boat over there? Well, since it's a power slash, all I gotta do is draw a line! <laughs> hey, still got it! Didn't think you had it in your firm all. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. A yeah, furball. Uh, I mean, Amaterasu. Uh, I've made up my mind. If you're Shiranui reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. There yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that I've master power slash, I can cut down the thing Sakuya was talking about. Indeed, we can. And because the game does not have confidence in us, it gives us this crazy taxi arrow and that was not a line. But that... How was that a line? Okay, I should just draw straight hands, honestly. <laughs> also talking about lines and using ink, if you use up too much ink, you're just like a printer, you gotta wait for the cartridge to reload. Until then, you can't use your divine weapons. Which can be kind of troublesome, but you do some cool wolf kung fu in the meantime. Also now, cut down all the trees because we're funny. Impressive, eh? Sometimes if you cut down stuff in the scenery, you can get some food and stuff, or other items like, I don't know, what, what, what to get here. Money! Nice! So yeah, that's always so, so gay, I'll get it. What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know the divine instrument you have in your back? Press the square button to use its power against them. Yep. Battles! Once you've caught them off guard, you turn black and white. They're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nice they are. So yeah, once you beat an enemy... Damage an enemy enough, you can finish them off with a power slash or whatever. Spirit Globe, that restores some health. Ink Bottle, that restores some ink. Yes, yes, yes. Getting all the basics out of the way. But what if you just kill an enemy and once it's dying, you slash him? That way you get Demon Fangs. That's what is known as a floral finisher. You want to do as many of these as you can because... Well, let's just say these Demon Fangs are gonna be useful for something later. And what you mean I did, didn't do perfect on damage? Oh yeah, I got a hit. Sorry. Right. That's the basics of battles. We'll get into the nitty gritty later on when we get more complex battles, yada yada. But for now, that's how battles work. You just pummel enemies, use your abilities and... Do some floor finishers because it's awesome. Also, you get ranked in every battle, which no pressure, right? <laughs> hey. Okay, moving on and moving down. More enemies. Let's get some more floor finishers then. You can even chain these together. Some ooh cabbage. My cabbages. You can even chain these floor finishers together sometimes when you beat enemies like in a row or together. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that red thing in the corner there, that's... I'm not sure what it's called, but it gives you a free hit. It can go up to green, like red, yellow, green. It's like a gauge of how well you're doing in battles, and it stays between battles, I think. And, yeah, with green you have three extra hits you can take before you actually start taking damage. So, pretty nifty, eh? Okay, let's follow the crazy taxi arrow back again, over to the river, swim, swim. God, I love how this river looks, it's so pretty. Uh, it's just amazing. Okay, moving on. Also, I gotta say, playing this game on PC was actually kinda nice too, because you could use the mouse to draw. But, well... The fuck was that? But, well... Gotta go with what I have, I guess, because, well, can't really record on PC, sadly. I mean, I had a weird idea with a setup of two PCs, like with my laptop and my main PC, but that's so whack, I'm not doing that, fuck that. For now, let's just keep going back, and actually, let's save, why not? Would be good. Always handy to keep a backup save of the earlier save, just in case you want to show off some other stuff. I don't know. I I do that. Also, circle, the most important button. The 
bark button. Yes. <laughs> That's, you just need that. It's, it's too important to not include, eh? Okay, so let's cut the fruit.